Hey everybody, Carl Wachner here, hanging out in my home studio, been getting a bunch of requests on the equipment that I use, so I'm gonna show you all of this stuff. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> okay, you're a musician or you wanna be a musician, this is how to do it. I'm a musician, I can tell you that shit. As a creative artist, you need to have a place to create, right? Whether that's an expensive studio that you pay a lot of money for, or whether that's a cheap studio that you don't pay a lot of money for, but you get a lot of work done. What I have is a boiled down version of what I've used over the years. I've had um, a lot of studio space. I've had a lot of studio equipment. I've boiled it all down to be a nice condensed version of exactly what I need right now. And I feel like whether you're thinking about your finished product or whether you're thinking about just messing around in the studio and coming up with some stuff, you need a little space. Let me go through my little studio and I'll tell you why I've boiled it down to what I'm using right now. Here we go. Now I'm gonna preface the rest of this video by saying I'm not gonna go into detail about what each piece of equipment actually does. I feel like if you're watching this video, you don't need to know that sort of stuff, you already know it. And if you don't know what studio monitors are or a recording interface is, you got a whole lot of YouTubing before you watch this. So this is just for the people who are interested in my equipment and why I've chosen it. The interface that I use, the brainchild of the entire thing is my UAD Universal Audio Apollo. This is one of the industry standards right now. I feel like most studios, whether they have a massive console, a UAD software and Apollo is kind of at the center in the forefront of most of it. I love the sound, I love what it does and um, I can totally stand by using it, absolutely. Now my Apollo is an eight channel interface. It has four mic preamps and it has another four line inputs. The thing about interfaces and recording studios, I feel like once you get to this level for a home studio system, you need to have one channel that's pretty high end. I mean, competitive in some of the biggest studios and um, that's what I've aimed to do. So my, my number one channel uh, is coming into my LA610 Mark II. So this is another universal audio piece of outboard equipment. I absolutely love this. This is a, um, a 610 preamp and it's an 1176 compressor. So this is a whole channel strip and this is running into a line input into my Apollo interface. So I have five good quality channels, one of which is stellar and is my favorite rig. Once I go into there, I go straight into my Mac. My 2013 iMac has a decent amount of processing power, so I'm able to do YouTube video editing. I'm able to do some recording, some studio stuff, and uh, use a bunch of plugins and not wear it out. Might be able to tell in the background here, I've got Pro Tools up. Um, the DAWs that I prefer to use is Pro Tools. That's my main one. I also do a little bit of work on Logic if I need to, but I cut my teeth on Pro Tools and I'm very quick at it. And I feel like whatever DAW you work with, stick with that one because they're all basically the same. As long as you're quick and effective on one of them, now they all talk to each other. So it's no big deal which, which uh, DAW you are. Now coming out of my Mac, I go straight into a little, um, well, a little, a little big knob. <laughs> so this is a Mackie big knob. This is just a volume attenuator. It's not powered or anything. All it does is adjust the volume into my studio monitors here, which are the Dyn Audio BM6 Mark IIs. Um, I'm a huge Dyn Audio fan. I love these monitors. I love that they've got a nice, um, a nice flat frequency response to this room. I can really hear some low end and they're really crisp in the high and the mids. Now microphones, as you might already know, sure are absolutely my choice when it comes to live stuff. My actual main vocal microphone for live is a KSM-8. I'm a huge fan of it. It's a relatively new microphone. Very, very nice. But uh, all that aside, in the studio, I work with a lot of Rode microphones. So R-O-D-E, they're an Australian brand. They're an underdog and they're incredible. So I have a few different mics. I've got a Rode NT2, I have a Rode NTK, uh, both very similar, but they're both, um, both a little difference in the high end, but both uh, tube microphones, valve microphones, and they sound incredible, really smooth and crisp. Uh, apart from microphones, talking about power. Power is one of the most important things. If you don't get good power in your studio, um, all of your equipment's gonna suffer. Something that I have right here is, uh, this is a Monster Power, uh, it's a Pro 900. All it is basically is you plug your wall power into that power conditioner, and then you have a bunch of outlets on the back uh, and it's switchable on and off on the front. So once I'm finished doing anything with the studio, I can turn everything off and I can just flick that whole thing off and it shuts down everything. Surge protected, lightning protected, all of that stuff. And it gets really pure, clean power. So I'm a big fan, love it to bits. What else can we talk about? Oh, something I totally forgot. Dude, seriously, it's a fire globe. I mean, 
It's not real fire, but it's real fire. You can see that, right? Yeah, you can see it. <laughs> oh, you sneaky devil. You guys can see that? <clears throat> One more thing. Very, 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 very important. One of the most important things you will ever have in your studio is an unbelievable chair to sit your smooth hiney on. <laughs> smooth. This, this is a stealth chair. I'll put a link in the description. One of the most important things you'll ever have in the studio is a killer chair. If you're spending hours and hours editing or sitting, man, one of the worst things you can ever do, <laughs> take that camera, one of the worst things you can ever do is have a, have a poor quality chair to sit on. You'll hate yourself, you'll get really fatigued and annoyed. Kind of like when you need to pee and you don't know that you need to pee, but all of a sudden it's an epiphany that you need to pee and then you gotta run away and pee and then run back and you feel so much better. Just sit in a good chair, man. You'll get the same, you'll get, <laughs> you'll get the same feeling without even having to pee. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, uh, I hope this helps you guys. Please hit me up, any comments, uh, any questions that you have. I hope you guys can find a nice little place and I hope this helps. Well, that concludes it. Thanks you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, I'm gonna be doing these videos a whole lot more often. So thanks for the fanship. Thanks for listening and I'll see you around. Peace.